Medipitch and Altaboy. These two plugins are two very popular choice when it comes to pitch and form and shifting. But what is the best between the two? In this video, I'm going to compare all the characteristics of each plugin to find out the one that wins the battle. And let's start with something that I think is very important in music production, which is the interface. For Altoboy, we've got something pretty clean and professional looking. The knobs and buttons are well spaced out, and the analog sound toy style is very inspiring. There is really nothing too fancy about this plugin, and that's usually the mark of a good plugin. But I would say maybe that the interface style is getting a bit old. Medipitch's interface is totally different, with a modern, even futuristic style. In the middle of of the interface there is this very nice waveform that's constantly in motion is it useful no <laughs> but i think it's really cool also in terms of buttons parameters and knobs it's a bit full here but it's still very well organized so alto boy midi pitch it's quite subjective here but i would say that for its modern style midi pitch wins what about the flexibility now? Is it easy to play with the sound or to try different creative things? With Alto Boy, there are not a lot of parameters, but when you play with the four knobs and the three modes available in the plugin, you can often get unique results. With Metapitch, they went a little further in terms of possibilities, giving the users more extra parameters, such as a widener, a low and high cut filter, or even the possibility to group several tracks together, which is like super handful. But as the point of each plugin is to play with the pitch and foreman, they quite do the same job, so I give one point for each. There is also something very important in plugins nowadays, presets. So in this case, does the manufacturer provide the users with good and creative presets? Both plugins don't have many presets, as you naturally understand that with this kind of plugins you cannot go in thousand different directions but to be honest with you the presets in these two plugins are super nice there are like i think 10 presets in Alto Boy and around 15 for Medipitch, but the difference in quality and creativity is not really significant so one point for Alto Boy and one for Medipitch. I think when you buy a plugin, it's also essential to think about the quality of the support team. Because sometimes you run into problems that you might not be able to handle on your own, and that only the support team can solve. I had the occasion to deal with the Slate Digital support team several times, and it's been great every time. They're professional, fast, and very efficient in their explanations. As for sound toys, I don't know, but I suppose a manufacturer with such a good reputation must have a good service. If you have the answer, you can put it in comment because I could be totally wrong. Not knowing the quality of some toy support, I give one point for each. If you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more quality content like this one. Let's continue the video with a parameter that I think is the most important one, which is sound quality. The best way to compare these two plugins is to compare the same values on the same vocals. So I wrote some automations on the voice we're gonna listen to, which will allow you to explore a good part of the values you can use with the two plugins, from the lightest to the most extreme. And while you're listening, make sure you give me your opinion on which plugin you prefer. Now, let's get started comparison. I wanna go open the door Losing control, losing control. I wanna go open the door. Losing control, losing control. I wanna go open the door. Losing control, losing control. I wanna go open the door. Losing control, losing control. I wanna go open the door. Losing control, losing control. It's like super close, but personally, I feel like the meta pitch audio quality is a bit better than Alto Boys. You know, when you reach more extreme values with the pitch or foreman knob, Alto Boy shows its weaknesses much more quickly. You know, the frequency spectrum is damaged, artifacts appear, and 
I feel like the high end range lose brightness and precision. And there is that sort of realism that I find in Medipitch and not in Alto Boy. So for this aspect, I will give one for Medipitch. And the last important thing to take into account is the financial aspect. In other words, does the plugin's quality equal its price? To answer this question, let's look at the prices of each plugin. On the Sontoys website, Altoboy sells for $99. As for Medipitch, it sells for double, $199. The difference is huge. But is this difference justified in terms of overall quality? Definitely not. And to be honest with you, I find even $100 too expensive for a plugin whose sole purpose is to play with pitch and format. I don't think these two plugins are good value for money. But it's better with Autoboy, so the point goes to the Santos plugin. This gives us 5 for meta pitch and 4 for Alto Boy. As you can see, it's very close and that's just my own opinion. Yours could be totally different and that's completely legit. But I think that overall Medipitch's modern side makes the difference with Alto Boy. I think it's a plugin that's better tailored to today's music production needs. Anyway, the links for the two plugins are in the description. Before you leave, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this one in future. See you soon. Bye-bye.